By drawing sketches, decide if the following sets in R2 are convex or not. Also decide whether each set is bounded or unbounded, and there's eight sets to make those decisions for. Before I do any of those, let me write down what the definition of convex and the definition of bounded are, so that I know what I'm talking about. So this is what my book says the definition of convex is. A set C is convex if the line segment joining any two points of C is contained entirely in C. And what that actually means is that it doesn't have any dents or holes. It points generally outwards. But that's how to check using line segments. There's another definition that uses vectors, but I don't think that's going to be appropriate for this situation because I'm going to make my decision by drawing a picture. And that's the definition of bounded. A set C is bounded if, it's, if it is contained in a finite region, meaning it doesn't go on forever. I can draw the whole thing if I had a big enough piece of paper. OK, so now that I know what the definitions are, I can now do the question. A the set of x, y in R2 such that y is less than or equal to x squared. Alright, well, it's in R2, so I need an x and a y axis. x, y. And let me have a look at my equation. It's an inequality. If it was an equal sign, like this, then that would be a parabola like this, y equals x squared. But I don't want y is equal to x squared. I want y is less than or equal to x squared. So that would be below the parabola. So the bit I want is this bit here. Okay, that's my set. It's clearly unbounded. It goes on forever. Unbounded. But is it convex? Well, it's not convex because it's got a great big hole in the middle. And I can be completely certain by drawing a line that joins two points in the set. So here's a point in the set, and here's another point in the set and the line segment joining them leaves my set in the middle just here. This part of the line segment isn't in my set. So it's not convex, because a convex set, if I join two points in it, the whole line segment's contained in the set. So therefore it's not convex. Note that that doesn't mean it's concave. There's no such thing as a concave set. There's just convex and not convex. Part B, the set of x, y in R2 such that y is greater than or equal to x squared. Well, that's got the same boundary as the other one, so let's draw that. x, y. If it was equals, it would be a parabola again. y equals x squared. But this time... I want the bit above the parabola, so this bit up here. And that's still unbounded, it still goes on forever if we go upwards. So unbounded. But it is convex. See how it points generally outwards? And I can check that by just drawing some pairs of points and the line segments joining them. So if I draw this point and this point, and I join them, that's contained in the set. If I draw this point and this point, and I join them, that's contained in the set. Actually, I think that if I picked any two points and joined them, the line segment would be contained completely inside the set. So it's actually convex. Now for the next one. C, the set of x, y 
in R2 such that x plus y is less than or equal to 1. Well, let's put our x and y axes in. Well, if it was equal to 1, like this, then it would be a line. And the way to draw a line is to find two points on the line and join them. So the best way to do that would be to find the x and y intercepts. If y was 0, that would make x equal to 1. And if x was 0, that would make y equal to 1. And so this is the line x plus y equals 1. But I don't have equal to, I have less than or equal to. And so I think I need below the line, but I'll just check. If I put the origin in that point there, then that would be 0 for x and 0 for y. So 0 for x and 0 for y would give me 0 plus 0 is less than or equal to 1, which it is. So the origin is on the correct side of my line. So I do want the bit below the line, so I want this bit here. Well, it's still unbounded, it still goes on forever. And this one's convex as well, I reckon, because if I pick two points in my set and I join them, the whole line segment's in the set. And I believe that would be true for any two points in the set, even ones right on the boundary like this. That's still in the set, just. So yes, it is convex. Now for the next one, D. The set of x, y in R2 such that x plus y is equal to 1. Well, I've already drawn that in the previous picture. x, y, and it was this line here. That's the place where x plus y is equal to 1. And that set's still unbounded. It goes on forever in both directions, like that. So unbounded. And it's still convex. Do you remember what happened when I drew two points on the edge? So if I pick two points on the edge of this line and join them, then the line segment's contained in the line. So it's still convex. Now for the next one. E. The set of x, y in R2 such that x squared plus y squared is less than or equal to 1. So there's my y-axis, there's my x-axis, and let's look at what would happen if it was equal to 1. Well, if it's equal to 1, that's a circle. It's a circle of radius 1. So 1, minus 1, minus 1, and 1 and it's a circle. And I want less than or equal to 1. So that would be the inside of the circle. Now that set is clearly convex. It points outwards in every direction. But just to be sure, let's draw a few line segments. So if I pick a point here and a point here and join them, that line segment's contained in the set. 
point here and a point here and join them. That line segment's contained in the set. So yes, it is convex. And it's also bounded because I was able to draw the whole thing on my page. It doesn't go on forever. Part F. The set of x, y in R2 such that x squared plus y squared is greater than or equal to 1. Well, that would be the outside of the circle this time. x, y, 1, minus 1, minus 1, and 1. And this time I want the outside of the circle. like that. That's my set there. And that set is unbounded. It goes on forever. Unbounded. And it's not convex because it's got a great big hole in the middle. But let's just check by drawing some points and a line segment. So if I pick a point say here and a point say here and join them, that line segment leaves the set. There's a space just here where it's not in the set at all. So it's definitely not convex. G. The set of x, y in R2 such that x squared plus y squared is equal to 0. Alright, well, here's my x-axis and my y-axis. And let's have a look at that equation. Normally x squared plus y squared is equal to a number would be a circle and the radius would be the square root of that number. My number is 0, so it would be a circle of radius 0, so that's just the origin. Like that. So it's just a single point. So it's certainly bounded because it doesn't go on forever. Is it convex? Well, it doesn't have any holes or dents. That's my picture version of convex. So just from the picture, it's convex. Um, but does it make sense from the definition? The definition says that if I pick two points in my set and join them with a line segment, then the whole line segment is contained in the set. But I can't pick two points in my set because it's only got one. Doesn't that mean it's not convex? Well, no, it doesn't mean it's not convex. That's because there are no pairs of points where the line segment's not contained in a set. There's no line segments that leave the set because there's no line segments at all. That is quite confusing, but it's certainly not not convex. So that makes it convex. Now for part H. The set of X, Y in R2 such that x squared plus y squared is less than 0? Well, x squared plus y squared is a positive number, so it can never be less than 0. So this set has no points in it at all. It's empty. It's empty. So it's certainly bounded because it doesn't go on forever because it doesn't go on at all. And by the same reasoning for my point, it's convex too. Because I can't draw any line segments that leave my set, because I can't draw any line segments at all. That's quite confusing, but it's still true. 